morning. It's October 7th. Uh, beautiful fall day today. It's a little bit chilly, but the sun is out. Um, as many of you know that we've been going through the book of Proverbs um, for your daily edification. Um, about a week ago, I gave a sermon called Take Heed. Um, if you've, many of you maybe have heard it, maybe you haven't, but uh, if you follow our YouTube page or Facebook or YouTube channel or Facebook page, you can go on there and listen. Um, and I expound on Proverbs chapter 7, which talks about the immoral woman and the youth that lacks discernment. And so um, I'm going to be switching some things up today, and we're going to be going out of the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 55, verse 6. If you have a Bible, you can follow along. Isaiah 55, 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it make give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace, and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the, of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. This is a great passage. And one of the things I want to ask you this morning, what is God saying to you in this season? As we see right now, we've moved out of summertime into fall, and um, the different seasons very much can be uh, resemble the, the Christian life. Uh, as we go through seasons here in this world, uh, the Christian walk, we can definitely go through different seasons, seasons that are trying, seasons that are difficult, seasons that are joyful, seasons, seasons of blessing, of um, rejoicing, of prosperity. Um, but I want to ask you, what is God saying to you in this season? I know that with some of the things coming up like the election, um, we're going into uncertain times right now, uh, perilous times we are in right now, and it's going to get extremely tough in the days ahead. What is God saying to you? Because we see here in verse 11, it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Remember Jeremiah. God called him to pull down, tear down, build up, right? The things that God had ordained him to, right? He said, I ordained you to be a prophet to the nations. In Jeremiah 1.12, God, the word of the Lord comes to Jeremiah and he says, what do you see? And he see, says, I see a rod of an almond tree. And he says, thou hast seen well. I will hasten my word to perform it. See, there's the word of man, which always changes. But there's the word of God, which does not change. It's final. And if God is giving you a word right now in this season, maybe say, I don't know what God is saying to me. Then seek him while he may be found, as Isaiah says, right? If you draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. But what I want to say is that what is it ask you, what is God saying to you right now? Is it something that you're being obedient in or something that you're not being obedient? Is it something that you're wanting more confirmation from the Lord from? Or has God been confirming it through multiple signs to you? And whatever that thing is, I want to say be obedient in that in it. I give an example. My wife recently gave me about like three different things that the Lord had been speaking to her for quite some time. And she says, I just want to be obedient what uh, God is calling me to do. And one of those things was um, that we did last night was baptism. And she, she's been baptized before. She's saved. She's filled with the Holy Spirit. But she just felt that in this new season that she's in, that God just has done so much in her life since she first gave her life to Jesus Christ. And she felt the need to be baptized. And so last night we baptized her in the house and all the kids watched. It was a really uh, um, just a precious 
precious time and moment um, of baptizing her. And I just, she, she was obedient to the voice of the Lord. And whatever God is calling you to be obedient in, and whatever he's speaking to you, know that he will perform it, right? You may not see the end result, but God will come through in mighty powerful ways. It may not make sense. Maybe there's things that he wants you to sign up for. Maybe there's groups that he wants you to get involved with in your church. Um, maybe he wants you to seek him more in prayer. Maybe he wants you to do some fasting, right? We always talk about fasting being at the beginning of the year. Why does it have to be at the beginning of the year? We can do it throughout the whole year. And when you do that, God will reward you openly, as it says in Matthew 6. So I want to say, seek God right now. What is he saying to you in this season? Blessings on you guys. Have a great week, and I will talk to you later.